My name is Heidi Cole and I'm a residency counselor here at the community. Many of you viewing this know who I am, but if you don't, I look forward to meeting you soon. As many of you know, the coronavirus is changing the international communication landscape. Here at East Castle Place, many changes have been taking place and we'd like to share some of those with you today. One of which is how I'm communicating with you now and the opportunities of virtual visits, which I'll talk more about at the end of this video. But how neat is this? I am bringing the castle to you right at your home. In a time of stay at home orders, East Castle Place, like many senior living communities around the country, we have been forced to create ways to keep our residents social while keeping safe social distance to protect them from COVID-19. Here at East Castle Place, we have created creative ways of entertaining and keeping our residents connected. We have constantly evolved over the last few weeks. We continue to stretch our staff and our residents' imaginations. Tyler Gudex, our executive director, has been at the forefront of these creative conversations. At this time, I would like to ask Tyler to join us on this video and answer a few questions that you have brought forward in the last few weeks. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Tyler Gudex. I'm the executive director here at East Castle Place. As Heidi said, we're looking at new ways for how to communicate to our residents as well as prospective residents, and, and hopefully this finds you well. Um, with that, wanted to just update you on some of the things that we're doing here at East Castle Place, take a first-hand look into what our residents are experiencing, as well as how we're handling these difficult times for our residents as well as our staff members. So um, with the recommendations from the Center of Disease Control, as well as Life Care Services, our management company, um, we have been taking preventative measures since early March. We currently are still taking those preventative measures for the safety and security of our residents here at the community, as is the most important piece um, that we have here at East Castle Place, uh, as well as the lifestyle that you get to enjoy. So I hope this video finds you well, and, and it's a great way to implement technology, something that our residents are, are grasping, something that we're doing uh, at a, a very fast pace, and uh, we're excited to continue on uh, the positive changes that we've seen through the different things we're doing with COVID-19, as well as how we're continuing to live, uh, enjoy the active lifestyles that our residents have. Now at this time, we'd like to answer a few questions we have received from a few prospective residents. Tyler, the first question is, how are you ensuring the safety of your residents and staff at this time, as well as communicating it effectively to family members? Safety and security is paramount here at East Castle Place. Uh, we want you to feel safe and secure, as well as we want your loved ones to feel safe and secure with having you here. So during this time, communication is absolutely essential. We're taking many different platforms uh, for that communication to make sure that we, from an operations standpoint, are very transparent with you as residents, as well as vice versa. So we're taking a couple of avenues with that. First and foremost, um, we are communicating at least weekly in written form that's going door to door to uh, our East Castle residents. The same is given to our employees, a little bit different, uh, more staff related, and that's posted by the time clock as well as um, through email. Lastly, family members are getting a letter from myself updating them as to the status of East Castle Place and the impact that COVID-19 has. In all those, it's urged, uh, I urge you to reach out to me directly with any questions or concerns you have, anything that is unclear um, to you, and that way we're all in the same uh, we're all on the same page, talking the same language, feeling safe and secure of, uh, at, during these difficult times. Our second question is, how are you keeping residents active during this difficult time? Activities are something that are really essential outside the box thinking is what's been asked of our activities and community life team. We know that the wellness of residents is so important and that social perspective is critical. 
However, in these unprecedented times, it's also critical that residents stay apart. We don't gather, we don't congregate. Um, things of that nature from social distancing to limiting the number of individuals that come in contact with our residents. So the community life team along with our East Castle staff have been tasked with really thinking outside the box. How are we keeping the, the active lifestyle here at East Castle? Well, there's a number of ways we're doing that. One is in communication, like we're doing right now in video. We have an in-house TV channel. We have live streaming exercise programs. We have mindful meditation every day. We're giving a, an activity packet with different things um, each week. We have a trivia um, that have prizes. We also have um, our committees that are meeting. Today specifically on this Wednesday, it's Earth Day. So our residents put on a, an Earth Day program that's being broadcasted on our in-house TV channel. Activities um, are also, we are encouraging walking um, outside um, and taking different avenues, Zoom uh, meetings for instance, to stay connected with their loved ones. The director team as well as other staff members are reaching out one-on-one -on -one with individuals to make sure they're being cared for. And if there are changes, anything that they need, we're there for them, trying to stay proactive. Um, this has been the dif most difficult time um, for myself as well as uh, directors to think outside the box, but I also must commend the directors as well as the residents for, for coming up with the different ideas. Um, the last one I want to mention is our Castle Connections. Um, hopefully Heidi uh, is able to share that with you, but that's made by residents for residents and put together by the Community Life staff. Last, in April, we put together, a, a, it was Poultry Month, so the incredible talented residents of East Castle Place put together a, a weekly, uh, essentially, pamphlet or a weekly newsletter with a bunch of different poetry, a different ideas, just different ways to stay active. So again, outside the box thinking is number one. Before I turn it back over to Heidi, I want to wish you and your loved ones well. I know this is a tough time, but I also want you to know that East Castle Place, myself, as well as the residents and staff are here for you. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Heidi. I would like to also thank you for your questions. We here at East Castle Place are here for you as well. Please know that we are thinking of you. We hope that you and yours are able to find communication ways with families and loved ones. It's very important to know we're all in this together. We hope that we are able to bring you peace of mind in knowing when you decide on senior living at East Castle Place, you're deciding on a community that grows through difficulty. Thank you so much, Tyler, for your help with this video. I wanted to also discuss and provide you information on our virtual tours here at East Castle Place. During this time of social distancing, many people are spending more time at home. How can you make the most of your time? What are you thinking about at this time? Are you thinking about what your future looks like? Are you or a loved one thinking about East Castle Place? Please connect with us either by phone, email, or via our website. We would be more than happy to answer any further questions you have and be available virtually to discuss what a future could look like here at East Castle Place. Thank you so much for viewing and I look forward to hearing back from you.